way the storm brought the nation together in one New Jersey town, there were 15 power trucks from the state of Florida alone. And remember, first there was Sandy, then last week brought a nor'easter, which brought snow and sleet and biting wind to the northeast and the mid-Atlantic. Well, today it felt like spring, a balmy 66 degrees here in New York City, while parts of the west and midwest get blasted with cold like winter all of which is prompting a lot of people to ask yet again, what is with these crazy weather extremes? Our report tonight from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. America has a case of weather whiplash. 60 degrees as our high on Friday, and then 28 degrees as our high on Saturday. This weekend, the West went from summer to winter overnight. And that's winter. <laughs> it's winter. Insta winter. Today, the Northeast basks in spring-like temperatures, still recovering from Superstorm Sandy and the Nor'easter that covered her debris in a record snowfall. This is something we've never seen before, any of the meteorologists here for that matter, and it's something very, very unusual. You'll get no argument from the people who have to deal with it. I said I'm waiting for the locusts and pestilence next. This year alone, the nation's endured a withering drought, the largest wildfires in history, and the warmest month on record. In 2011, there were 14 extreme weather events, each doing more than a billion dollars in damage. Now some politicians are connecting the dots, blaming the gases that come from burning coal, oil and gas for changing the climate. Climate change, extreme weather, call it what you will, it is undeniable. But when it comes to one specific event like Sandy, most scientists are more cautious. We know that global warming shifts the odds of certain extreme events, so we can't say that Sandy was definitely caused by global warming, but we can say it shifted the odds in its favor. What they are certain about is that sea levels are rising about a foot here in the New York area since 1900. Making Sandy storm surge that much more destructive, forever altering the coastline. It's not a question of if the sea level will rise, it's a question of how much. And what that depends on is how warm the climate gets and how quickly the ice in Greenland and Antarctica breaks off and falls into the sea. Extreme weather with extreme price tags becoming more commonplace. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.